I'm Gary Jureffi. I direct the Center on Globalization, Governance, and Competitiveness uh, at Duke University, and I'm a professor in the Sociology Department. We set up the uh, Duke CGGC uh, 10 years ago in 2004, and the focus of the center was built around using the global value chains uh, methodology or framework to address a set of innovative questions uh, coming from different kinds of clients. We have been working on global value chains connected to health topics like childhood obesity and food and nutrition. We've used global value chains to talk about environmental issues. We've used the global value chains framework to talk about thematic issues like food security in the Middle East and North Africa. So in terms of the relevance of global value chains to what I do, it's really been a centerpiece of my research uh, over the last uh, 20 plus years and, and even 20 years ago here at Duke, we um, published a book on commodity chains and global capitalism that was the forerunner of the global value chains approach, which we're now using at my center. Uh, for this Duke Global Summit, we wanted to take advantage of the great interest in global value chain analysis by international organizations and bring together those organizations with a set of leading academics so we could continue to focus on some of the key uh, cutting edge issues of the day. Great. And what are you learning here at the Global Summit that you'll be able to take with you as you continue to do work? When uh, Fritz Mayer and I uh, set up the Global Summit, uh, one of our goals was to identify international organizations that had been very active in uh, using the Global Value Chains framework and finding the right individuals in those organizations that had experience and couple that with, with academics. And so a big goal was for us to have a dialogue about what each of these organizations was doing with global value chains. Why did they find this framework interesting? How are they using it? What are their challenges? And I've been very impressed, um, more than I could have imagined beforehand, at how um, rich the conversation and dialogue has been by all the participants. Uh, it's almost as though the, the, the distinction between international organization folks and researchers is, is an arbitrary one because many of the people who are uh, working in the international organizations have also had a strong research and orientation and background. And many of the researchers have been working closely with international organizations. So I think coming out of this uh, global summit, we are quickly identifying a set of common uh, issues of interest to both communities, and uh, I think there's a real recognition that um, in working together is going to be the only way to push this agenda forward. And I think that was perhaps clearest when we had the panel yesterday on um, new ways of measuring global value chains. And the statistical community that's been making great advances, and Pascal Lamy former director general of the World Trade Organization highlighted that he thinks the change in, in measuring global value chains has occurred way faster than he could have anticipated. In five years, in less than five years, the statistical community has moved uh, towards measuring value chains in new ways, and he thought that might have taken 15 to 20 years. Uh, and, but when they discussed what they're doing, the uh, statistical agencies, international statistical agencies and, and national ones made clear that they need to have uh, a very close relationship with the research community and the policymakers for that to be uh, an integrated dialogue going forward. Great. And then the final question is looking ahead over the next three to five years, what are some significant challenges that your organization has identified that are important when you're considering a changing global economy? And how can the GVC framework help to sort of address some of these challenges? Uh, I think one of the, the key challenges uh, going forward over the next few years is how to bring the policymakers, uh, both at the national and international levels, together with the, the research community uh, and also bringing in the private sector, uh, which has been alluded to often in these discussions but isn't part of this particular meeting, to, to find mechanisms where that um, collaboration can be institutionalized. Uh, 
already in this meeting, several of these international organizations have been suggesting the possibility of uh, hosting future conferences or publications that are going to uh, consolidate what we're doing. I think one of the challenges is that things are changing so fast that it's very hard to keep pace with the changes. Another challenge is prioritizing the issues because there's a lot of different topics and so we need to figure out uh, what are the two or three things that most need to be addressed so that we can um, make progress on them and not get, our, get spread too thin. Uh, final point, I think universities uh, like Duke can play a really important role in bringing these groups together because we're uh, sort of a neutral uh, meeting point but because of the emphasis on knowledge creation and, and, and building out publications, websites, and other fora for disseminating what we're learning, I think we're in a, in a very good position to bring the, uh, the ideas and the uh, policy prescriptions that come out of this dialogue to a much broader community.